Hello and welcome back to another video by Phoenix Star Woman Seven on the Minecraft Nerds channel. Welcome back to Lord of the Rings uh, mod. Um, this is just a build server I'm on that uh, I've been building concept work for uh, Mornon. The name of don't know if in the last video I told you that it's Mornon, not Morthon, that the Blackroot Vale is dubbed as as its name. But anyway, this is. Just a quick video because the world reset for the Lord of the Rings server is about to end or about to be finished, so I'll be able to start getting into action in Mornon. So, the first thing I want to show was this. This is just a little concept thingy of the uh, map. Uh, this is north, and this is obviously the map. If I open up the map using J, I can go here. Here's the Blackroot Vale. Here is Eric, and here's a river, and here is what it looks like here. This will be the hill for uh, Eric, and this will be the stone of Eric, right there on top. Then I'm gonna build a little wooden bridge. Well, it won't be little, but it'll be a wooden bridge across Morthond. And here will be Morlad City, which is this. Um, so I'll go and take you on a brief tour of Morlad. I'll just go in. Welcome to the uh, the uh, trading district. Here you can see different vendors, not selling anything particular. Over here, though, is a clothing salesman, um, and over here is a food salesman. Um, I should know I am using the uh, painterly texture pack because it's one of the few good texture packs that's still 16 by 16, which means it still fits in properly with uh, the Gondor textures, or the uh, not just the Gondor, but the Lord of the Rings mod textures in general. Still fits in really nice, so I thought I'd get this pack just to make things look a little nicer. Here's two, you know, Blackroot statues. Um, over here, these buildings. This is Le Broken Bow. This is just a tavern. You know, get your inn, fill. This little balcony up here. That's actually in well, inspired from a diff bunch of different ends. Um, over here, and flip side building, so it's pretty much the same, mirrored, but a little different. It's the Inn of Eric. Um, little, you know, little uh, inn. Doesn't have a lot of drinking, although there is, you know, a little barrel. Complimentary drinks as you buy a room here. A little bathroom, because we are very civilized in Blackroot Vale. Here's the uh, lesser beds for just, you know, passing by travelers. Here's the more expensive bed. Someone put NPCs. I think it was uh, Leo Deer. King Leo Deer put NPCs everywhere in my city. I put down a few dozen, but he just filled everything up. Put tavern, keepers, and all sorts of things everywhere. So it's kind of funny. But let's go ahead and move on. So these are the... Um, I wouldn't say the lower wealth, more of middle class housing, because the you know the lower class, um, what is the word for, it? you know, just the poor would live outside the city in villages. They're the farmers and stuff. These are the middle class, you know, blacksmiths, because uh, you know that totally makes makes a lot of money. I don't know. I'm not very good at that sort of thing. But basically, just a little. Housing a little nicer than, you know, a wooden hut, uh, little wooden hut farmhouses, but fire, hobbit ovens, although it's kind of messy because world edit is pretty trash at copying and pasting things, as you can see. But, you know, got 12 of these buildings. They'll be assigned to players or recruits to join Mornon, so they have a little place to stay. Um, I actually have a little system here where they have banners. There's big banners that surround the whole place, but every house has a separate banner that will be just their name and my name. Everyone else, everyone who's in the city will uh, be added to the big banners, but the little banners uh, will keep a specific property safe. At least I think that's how it works. I don't know how the banner system quite works completely. Um, here's just a little park. It's one of my favorite parts of the build if it wasn't so freaking crowded. Um, here's a jail, um, the jailhouse. Jail cells filled with Haradrim. 
Not exact. I think Leo Deer put those in there. I didn't put them in there. Uh oh, server's about to restart. How timely that it would restart during my video. Then here are the manners. I'm gonna get back to you when the server stops or restarts. So, be right back. And we are back. Okay. So these are the manners. Um, some of them are a little broken, so I only had one actually because world edit again. It sucks when copying things. Um, but here, the manners are obviously bigger, and holy crap, there's a lot of people in here. Uh, just a big, you know, entry hall. Here, uh, the lords and their other wealthy citizens can talk business or just entertainment. Big, nice, warm fire. Um, interesting. Um, out here, just a little garden that they can have and go out. Which, no! Get, get, get out of the way! Get, 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 okay, I'll go around, gosh, stubborn, all right, what, what's going on, all right, here we go, here's a little, um, kitchen, could have, there's way too many NPCs in this place, um, here's a little bedroom, oh, there's supposed to be beds here, I don't know why there aren't beds here, what is it, straw beds, there we go, straw beds, all right, there's some that go here too. I'll get them later because those idiots are in the way. Um, so, and then over here is the. Ah! Open the door. Main chambers with a little desk. Let me get the heck out of this little hole of death. Just fly out of here. Close that. Um. Oh, and I also skipped this. This is the, uh, torture, humiliation, and execution. Place where all the criminals will be put. Because, you know. Oh, how timely that there is a drunkard right up here, ready to be executed. Just. Totally just got executed. Okay, hung. I don't know. Um, let me run this way. I'm not in the center street, but yeah, there's four of these houses. Um, one will be assigned to the uh, first in command of the city, the or the owner, mayor of the city. Forgot what it's called. Um, Leo Deer put up a bunch of ranks. Um, here is the Church of the Evolved Cram, which is kind of a joke I made towards the cult of Kebab. Not actually starting, you know, cult of Cram or something, or Church of the Evolved Cram. Uh, Kudo points, by the way, if you get the reference, the Church of the Evolved Cram. And here it is, Le Holy Cram, Confession Booth, and the uh, Good Heavens, where the priest would stay. Oh, there's way too many NPCs. I need to have like a mass just murder, genocide. Um, this, these are supposed to have signs on. All sorts of things are breaking down the moment I decide to actually record. This is the healing houses. You know, nice little red beds and a, the holy box of healing music and Screamo. Oh yeah. Close that up. Go over here. And this is the general storage. This will be all the wheat, stone, all the other good stuff is stored. This is the capital building. I'll get to that later. Um, over here, this is the uh, armory. Um, these are the Blackroot Vale armors. Inside are, you know, Gondor um, will be stocked full of all the Gondorian weapons and stuff. Pikes. Arrows, yeah, good, good heavens! Trying to get this many arrows is gonna be a fun thing indeed. Blackroot veil bows, Gondorian spears, Gondorian warhammers, and gun, more Gondorian swords. So you know, pretty cool. Some more swords and weapons in there than there's armor. That's one problem I just realized. Um, here's the barracks where all the soldiers will sleep. Well, and, uh, at least often they're off, or uh, yeah, when they're off duty. Um. And then here is the capital building, the capital of Mornon and of Morlad. Tried to fit all that, but it didn't fit very well, so I just put Morlad. I mean Mornon. Here's the entrance hall. This is my favorite, I love this. Got all of the provinces here on the wall. And then I got Norian, or the general, the main flag for Gondor. And then the Blackroot Veil Bell, or Bell, Blackroot Veil banner, I can English. Um, over here is, you know dining tables and then here is my little throne or the uh, king's throne when he visits um, over here is the royal treasury 
where I'll have all my, you know, mithril, other shiny armors, um, and then, you know, pile of gold I'm going to put there just for the fun of it. Um, over here is the royal kitchen, you know, just kitchen. And then back here is my bedroom, the royal bedroom. And here you go, a nice little private bath, bed, um, my favorite Galborn armor. Here's my Lord armor for Mornon. And then just a Gondor armor. A dressing room. Um, uh, there is stairs here. Almost forgot about this. There is, you can get some bookshelves, a little library I'll have up here. Um, and then over here is just reading tables. So yeah, that's the capital of Mornon. Um, only thing else to note are the uh, castle walls and the towers. Here's the little farms in the background for my personal food supply. There's the towers, very well armored to make sure that they stand all forms of war. Uh, several, three um, levels, or four levels if you count this. Um, I think four, yeah. So. Should provide plenty of room for archers to get over the walls and still provide protection for them. Um, let me go down levels to the wall level. So here's this level where you get onto the walls. And then this level is the under walls. And I just realized this. Um, I'll fix it later. Here are just a bunch of you know lights as you go along the walls. Hollowing it out this way will make it so I don't have to place as many blocks or mine as many blocks but will also provide passageways for the uh, soldiers as they traverse from tower to tower or go where they are needed. Sorry if I sound tired and kind of odd. I have a cold and it's pretty late at night, so probably not the best time to record, but the as I said, the restart's coming in just a couple days, so I didn't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of time to record, so I need to make sure I got it when I had time, and this was the only time available, so, you know. It's interesting how things favor you and do not favor you. Here's the uh, castle wall. You can open up the, you know, uh, the, uh, oh my gosh, how can I not remember these now? What are these named? Uh, port portcullis, right? The portcullis. How I forgot that, I have no idea. So, yeah, this is the city of Morlad. There's one thing I forgot to know. There's actually only uh, 11 houses the middle class. There's one little building near the public bathhouse because every big rich city of medieval times needs a nice little public bath and potty because you know what better living is there. Um, so yeah this is the city of Morlad. Now I do have a couple other things I want to show you before I end this video. I, uh, I would just teleport there but I want to kind of show you these things too. This is my previous uh, concepts for the city as you can tell I tripled the size and the walls. That was something I was known as the walls just weren't big enough or tall enough for real protection against players because apparently horses are way OP. And originally I was going to have the Stone of Eric in the middle of the city, but because now there's this big massive hill uh, there, I can't really do that. So I have to actually move Morlad to where Morlad's supposed to be. Originally it was going to be a city of Eric, but I decided to change that. Oh my gosh, go away. Go away. This server loves to rain. Um, then, this is the thing I wanted to show you. This is the Wall of Gobel Trith. In fact, there's concept art for the Church of the Evolved Cram. But this is Gobel Trith. Um, it's supposed to be basically the rival uh, fortress of Helm's Deep, serving the same purpose, because obviously, because Black Rebel is out in the middle of nowhere and is one of the typically renowned as a lesser province because it's not, you know, right on the front where all the other stuff's going on. Um, it ne the city is not, you know, it's not made for taking on real sieges and real battles, similar to how Edoras was. Um, and so I needed a city that all the people of Mornon, Lamedin, and uh, what's its name? Um, Anfales can, you know, retreat to if they don't have time to get to their, you know, specific locations. But mostly just Mornon, or Blackroot Vale citizens, will be able to retreat here and hold out in times of intense fallback war, similar to how 
what Rohan needed to do when they were under siege from Isengard. But, yeah, that's the spring. I'll be building this. So it might be a little wider than this, but it will be going right here. Right where my mouse is moving. Right at the top of Morth Morthond. I think I talked about this earlier, but I didn't show the actual build concept. Big, very armored walls. You know, should prove quite quite the asset against um, Mordor and other enemies of Gondor. So it's a little access to towers and a nice little thing. I love my, I love hollow walls because, you know, you can walk through the walls. Made it black just to make it a little bit more, you know, surreal. It's kind of cool. Um, then over here is the first concept I had for Eric. I was originally going to build it out of stone bricks. Um, to match the more medieval theme of uh, Mornon because, you know, the Black Rebel is not, you know, big city or big rich province of the main cities, so it's not made out of stone, uh, the finest quarried stone and everything. But then I had the thought that it's on the footsteps of uh, the, the White Mountains and the big thing that where they get most of their income is for mining and quarrying. So the stone that, you know, went to build Minas Tirith and stuff, and all the other big cities, a lot of it probably came from Mornon. So, I just realized that even though, you know, this kind of looks cool, gravel, gives it a little bit more of a, you know, city, ancient city feel. You know, but I decided not to go with that, so. Keeping this so that's pretty much all I have to show. I um, guess I could show you this. Pass of the Dead is another major build I'm going to be building. This will be one of the big things you see me doing in the series. Um, just a little Pass of the Dead. I'm going to turn my video quote. Oh, it's already on Moody. So let me go ahead and go into the Pass of the Dead. For those who do not know what the Pass of the Dead are, which is kind of weird because you shouldn't be playing Lord of the Rings and watching a video on the mod pack for Lord of the Rings if you have no idea what Lord of the Rings is. And if you've read Lord of the Rings, you should know what this is. But the Paths of the Dead, I forgot the um, elven name for it, were, you know, tunnels for the dead um, in the White Mountains. Um, they served as, well, Paths for the Dead. It's where the armies of the dead, who were the hillmen of the White Mountains, I think that's hillmen, I'm probably getting my lore completely messed up here, but when they they were called by Azilda to go to war with them against Mordor um, during the big you know the last bat the big great battle of the Second Age, and they refused, even though they swore an oath to do so, and so they were cursed with everlasting life or restless life. They would never die. They would never sleep again. And so they fled into these tunnels, and that's where they lived ever since. And so this is a major build, because the location these come out wasn't over, way over here sort of thing like the movie tried to make it. It was here at Morna, Morthond, right up here. And in fact, uh, the party of um, Eragon. Um, uh, and Legolas and Gimli. Totally didn't forget Gimli's name for a second there. Um, they came out from the Pass of the Dead, which is right here. So, Gobal Tirith will actually be uh, guarding the entrance to the Pass of the Dead. But they came along the Morthond, came to Eric, and went through all these lands recruiting um, soldiers for the war. And then they came to, at last, Pelagir which was under siege from the Black Corsairs who came up the river um, from Umbar. And those were the big black, sh you know, pirate ships. And here at Pelagir, they, you know, the armies of the dead swarmed the ships and they took the river up to Osgiliath. And then, you know, you know the rest of the story, hopefully. So that's the importance of the past of the dead. And I'm going to be, I have been tasked, not going to just be, but I've been tasked with building them. That's about as far as it goes. This is just concept. In the center of it, um, it'll go from, if I go back to the map, I also explained this, I think it'll go from here to Dunharrow. 
and in the center is going to be a massive fortress just like the one you see in the movie um, you know an underground city of the dead um, although it won't be filled with the dead it will serve as a last you know stand a hiding place because one of the things you note in uh, the mo in Helm's Deep is they have those big old caves that all the men and women hide in but don't really have an es or all the men and children hide in but don't really have an escape from um, this will be different they'll have those caves and there will actually be a fortified city in the in the center of the cave in case Gobel Trith fails they'll have that city as a last stand and if that fails they can always go through the rest of the way to Rohan but if Gondor is you know being destroyed there's not really much chance Rohan has to survive what destroyed Gondor so you know it'll still provide hope for the people so that's pretty much it um, whole reason I want to make this video is just so you had an idea of what my future series will be entitling. Um, building won't be the only thing. Uh, Mordor and Gondor actually declared war, or Gon M Mordor declared war on us. We didn't do it. Um, we declared the, we pr presented the terms, but they declared war on us, and so there a lot of the series will hopefully be. Uh, sieges and raids that we'll, I'll be participating in so that should be pretty fun to see also forgot to uh, note this blacksmith in the background every city needs a good blacksmith so should be fun um, I'm looking forward to the series um, I think this will be a part three of the episode zero just to show you know what the series is going to be about hoping I'm hyping you guys up a bit and I hope I don't disappoint any of you that have been hyped um, I'm looking forward to it. That's the biggest part is if I'm having fun with it, hopefully you guys will be having fun. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. wasn't super entertaining, but hopefully gave you a bit of an idea of what I intend to be doing with my with the series. I'll just go to a little fountain here and guys, guys, the public bath is right here. Please don't go bathing in the little decoration pond thing. I don't know what these are called. Just water strips. I've seen them in big cities, so I decided to, or modern cities, so I put one in. Little canals, I guess. So, you know. Oh well. Anyway, I've been Phoenix Star 117 If you like the video again, like, give me a like, and subscribe if you want to see some more. Series should be starting within this week or the next one depending on when the server restart is finished. I'm going to basically just go in there, build the Stone of Eric is the first thing I'm going to build. Um, get it all protected and built. And then I'm going to move on from there. I think I'll start with the Pass of the Dead, just so I get those, you know, stone and stuff, so I can build uh, this, because this is going to be expensive. Like, just look at all these banners for crying out loud. This is not going to be any joke. Like all this bronze Whew. I don't even think I have a third of the bronze required for all these blocks but you know I'll be building it step by step this I just built all together and you know pick copy and paste so anyway peace out guys and have a great day <laughs>